All right, uh, continuing, uh, let's do a brief review and then we'll see what this looks like all together. Uh, so the core concepts in React is all of your app state uh, lives in one spot. And here's one example. They have their to-dos, which is a list, and the visibility filter. Now, what they're saying here is they say this is a model. There are no setters. And the reason for there not being any setters is that whenever you uh, explicitly set or man manipulate data, um, it can actually cause hard to reproduce bugs. So remember in the last video, we said there's three principles and one of the principles is data is read only. Uh, that's because if uh, something is not read only, um, it can cause some subtle hard to detect bugs. So if you can't ever write anything, if you can't ever set anything, then how do you ever modify this? Well, what we do is we define a certain set of actions. So here they've said that you can add a to-do, you can toggle a to-do, or you can set a visibility filter. And if you want to change any of this state, you must create an action which says the type of action that you want to do. So you must choose a, a certain type of action and you can give it some additional information as well. And again, here is the function called the reducer. And what the reducer does is it takes the state and the action. It sees what the action is and the reducer actually retur returns a new copy of state uh, which satisfies the type of action. And uh, one last thing about Redux is, as you'll notice here, uh, these are actually two different reducers. And what's happening over here is your, your application can actually be, uh, it's a combination of, of multiple reducers. So you still do get some uh, separability here. So now let's go and see how this all ties together. So here's an app, uh, here's an application where uh, it's just a simple counting application and that's the first application we're going to make. Uh, you can see that we're importing Redux and one thing that we uh, import from Redux is this create store function. Here is a simple reducer. It says that the state is initially zero and the reducer is a function which combines the state with an action to produce new state. So if the type of the action says increment, we're going to take the state that was there and return state plus one. If the state, if the action was decrement, we're gonna take the state, subtract one. Otherwise, notice that there is also a default case where uh, if someone did not tell us an action that we expect to see, the default case is we simply return the state. So if we have a reducer that looks like this, we can create a store uh, whenever we make a store, uh, the store is created with the reducer. So here's our reducer, which defines how that state is manipulated. And now we can use that store to dispatch uh, actions to it. So here we're going to dispatch an increment command and an increment command and a decrement, that decrement command. And, and here uh, we see that it's actually being logged out. So let's try and code that up and see if we can get this to work. Um, and then we're going to try and get it into React. Uh, I'm gonna make a directory called counter and hop in there. And I'm gonna say yarn init with all the defaults and yarn add redux. Now 
Now I want to touch a file called index.js. Uh, actually, I'm going to call it main.js. And let's code this up. So what we want to do is we want to import create store from Redux. And we want to have a function, which is a reducer. The reducer is a function which takes in the state of the application and an action. And all that we do inside a reducer is uh, we switch on the action type and we have different cases. So if the case was increment, then we can return state plus one. If the action was decrement, we can return state minus one. And we can uh, have a default case as well, where we simply say return. And I need to put an arrow up here. So uh, this is, let's see, create a reducer function. Now we can say that we want to create the store from the counter. And we can dispatch a few actions to it. So let's say store.dispatch. And when we dispatch something, we want to give it the type of action that we want to do. So we're going to give it two increments and one decrement. And I believe they had one more thing over here where we could subscribe to the state. So let's grab this. So uh, if we call subscribe, that just means that it's a function that's going to be invoked every time that uh, something is, uh, every time it receives an action, every time an uh, action is dispatched to it. And we're logging the state of the store, uh, so we're going to see it. And let's see if this works. Well, let's see if this works. Require Redux. Well, I'm gonna have to, to debug this. Um, it wasn't a good choice running that with parcel. Um, I'm trying to run it with just a regular node. Um, but give me a chance to debug this and then uh, we'll get it running.